The car was exactly what Carolyn Bui of Canoga Park was looking for for her son in college in New York, a 2012 Honda Accord. I was a little doubt about it. 2012, could it be $2,000? But the seller, who she found on Facebook Marketplace, told Bui the car was discounted for a quick sale because her husband had died and she was leaving for the military. Bui says she asked to see the car, but the seller told her it was in storage and would be delivered to her instead. I received another email from the eBay that the car is shipping to my son. Bui thought her purchase was secure because the contract said it was being run through eBay with buyer protection. Bui was to pay with four $500 gift cards. Had she looked closely, she would have seen that this wasn't an official eBay email address. I just very believe that, okay, it's come from eBay. When the car never arrived, Bui realized she had been scammed. She checked the balance of the gift cards. They'd been drained, spent at stores like Tory Birch. If you paid via gift card or via wire, it's unlikely you're going to get your funds back. The Better Business Bureau of Los Angeles has recently been flooded with complaints of used car scams. On a monthly basis, we're probably getting about 15 to 25 of these per month. So it's just about every day. CEO Steve McFarland says the MO is similar in most of the scams. The car is priced well below market value. A 2012 Honda Accord should be priced closer to $10,000. The seller often says they're leaving for the military or there's been a death in the family. We scammer mentioned both. They won't meet in person, often citing COVID as a reason, and the scammer is asked to be paid via wire transfer or gift cards. And they want you to do this transaction very quickly. McFarland says no one should buy a used car without doing their own VIN scan report. He says you also need to make sure to match the registration with the car. And if you have concerns about doing any of this in person, you can always request to do it over Zoom. Christine Lazar, CBS 2 News.